Hi, this is JP from Now the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Lord of the Rings LCG playthrough. This time we are playing the Across the Enten Moors scenario from the Angmar Awakened campaign cycle. And I am playing my uh, lore slash spirit rangers and elves uh, combined in one deck. And I have named the, the deck Ar Aragorn Races Across the Enten Moors. To Arwen. But uh, first off, let's look at what kind of deck I've built for this uh, true solo playthrough. Okay, and we are over on ringsdb.com and uh, here is my deck. So uh, the heroes are Alor Aragorn, then we have Spirit Arwen and uh, Lore Beravor as the heroes. So uh, with Beravar we can get some cards when we uh, can exhaust her and uh, then Arwen can discard cards so that you can add one resource to either uh, her um, resource pool or Aragorn's resource pool. And Aragorn has this refresh action that you can lower your threat to the starting threat level once per game in the refresh uh, phase. So. Uh, we can go all out on threat and if we are getting too high in threat we can lower it back to 31 which is the starting threat value. Uh, then let's look at uh, the deck a bit. So for this scenario I have played this once and I managed to beat this scenario even without these East Road Rangers. But uh, as I know there are a lot of encounter side quests in this quest. So uh, this is really good uh, ally to have in this scenario. You get a plus two willpower boost when you are questing against a side quest. So that is good. Then uh, we have Elrond for some healing and maybe condition removal if we need it. Uh, then we have <coughs> staples in a discard elves deck. So we have Elven Jewelers, Galadrim Weaver. To get those cards you discard back into your deck. Uh, Galdor of the Heavens. Uh, this is a one card I want to see early on, but if we don't, it's okay. But this really boosts our card draw. Uh, we have Gleowine uh, for card draw. Uh, then we have Northern Trackers. There are some uh, locations in this uh, quest, so this is a good ally to have. Uh, Rangers of Gardolan are usually good. If we uh, get a minion we can't handle, we can just play that to jump block. Mm. <clears throat> then we have a uh, tech card, uh, Rivendell Mistra. This, these two are here just so I can fish out Song of Travel as fast as possible to make Aragorn have the spirit uh, resource type also. So that we can play more cards with their, uh, the combined um, resource pool of Aragorn and Arwen from the spirit side. Uh, burning Brands are in the deck to help me if I run into a really tough um, enemy and I have to defend so that I don't get a nasty shadow card. Ancient Matham uh, for card draw Magic Ring. Uh, this is a late addition and in my test play I didn't get this into play but uh, it, it is a really good one with uh, Lore Aragorn as you can go AWOL with the threat uh, to utilize this card and then just lower your threat back to the starting one. So another uh, ready effect and other stuff. Protectors of Lorien staples in uh, my decks usually. Uh, Silver Harp, one of only because I can only play this on Arwen, but this is really good if you get it early on so you don't have to discard all the cards you uh, use for Arwen's ability or anything else. Oh yeah, we already went through the Song of Travel. Uh, the Long Defeat, um, another card draw card. This is good because you can play this uh, onto the side quest also, so you can just easily beat one side quest and uh, get cards. Uh, unexpected Courages, uh, really good. Uh, then we have Test of Will, Wills for the uh, Nasty Treacheries. 
uh, Dinar's runes for uh, additional card draw uh, Elrond's Council. If we are have already used Aragorn's ability, we can uh, lower our threat with these also. Elven sight, uh, Lights for Arwen to discard and then we can play these and get card draw. Uh, Tale of uh, Tinuville is a really good tech card when you are playing with Arwen and Aragorn, so you can make Aragorn a really tough hitter or defender, uh, depending on what you need. So that is basically the deck. So uh, as I said, I managed to beat the scenario already on my uh, blind playthrough when I was uh, testing out the deck and the scenario or the camp, uh, quest. So let's hop back over to the scenario or the quest. Okay, and we are ready to start. So we have already done the setup for this quest. So in the setup, we have to search, uh, uh, reveal one of the across the Ethenmore side quests and one of uh, the four lo uh, safe locations. And we have one of those uh, randomly chosen here, and this is uh, guarding it. So we need to defeat this side quest first. Then we get one Savage Troll spawn into play immediately. We have to get uh, 10 threat to uh, advance. So, quick story. Uh, you have escaped from the prison of Mount Gram, but you are not safe yet. So, basically we need to get across the Ethan Moors to safety of Rivendell. So, uh, we have the four stability at the beginning of the quest phase. If there are no encounter side quests in play, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until the... A side quest is discarded, reveal it and add it to the staging area. Post when a side quest is defeated, place progress tokens on into the Ethanmores equal to that side quest quest points. So uh, we have the lie low side quest uh, in play already. So there's uh, eight quest points there. Uh, so trolls and giants have been pursuing you uh, since you, your arrival into the moors. Your company must cover their tracks so the wild creatures do not follow. So forced at the end of the quest phase, if no progress was placed on the Lilo this round, each enemy gets minus 20 engagement cost until the end of the round. So we need to guarantee to get some um, quest questing done so that we can get some uh, uh, travel tokens on, onto this. And response after this stage is defeated, choose an enemy in the staging area and shuffle it into the encounter deck. So, uh, I think, yeah. I'll just place that back there. So, that is basically everything. Uh, we are ready to begin. So, without further delay, let's get started. Okay, we are ready to begin. So first off, let's draw our opening opening hand. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Just leave that there for now. So we get Elven Light, Elrond's Council, Northern Tracker, Elven Chiller, Ancient Matham, and Dinar's Runes. Not happy with this starting hand. I want to see at least one unexpected courage or a test of will or something like that. So we'll reshuffle and try our luck to get a better starting hand. So we have really uh, beefy enemies in the encounter deck. So uh, those enemies have a really high engagement check uh, points uh, threshold. So hoping not to have to fight that much and we just try to quest through uh, this uh, quest as best we can. Okay, let's do a new draw. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is our starting hand. We can't mulligan again. Uh, Diner's Runes, uh, East Road Ranger, Elven Light, Protector of Lorien, Unexpected Courage, and Elven Jeweler. So I think that's good enough because we want to get the East Road Ranger into play and start building from there. Okay, uh, so we add resources in the resource phase. We draw a card. Rever 
Del Mistral. So, okay, I think uh, we scratched that. I will discard Elven Light with um, Arven to place one resource into Aragorn's resource pool. Then we will play Rivender Mistral. Costs three lore resources, so we get to search our deck for a song and add it to our hand. So we get the song of travel and we shuffle our deck. So now we can play that onto Aragorn, so Aragorn also can play spirit cars, which is really good. Oh yeah, and we have the Amaratuil ally, uh, um, story ally in play also, so we have already five characters to quest efficiently. Then uh, I'll just immediately play Song of Travel onto Aragorn, and that is our planning phase may be done. I think I will play Dinar's Rooms. To draw two cards and uh, hard choice. Uh, I think I'll keep the Ranger of Cardolan in hand and discard the Ancient Matham. We don't have any locations to play that on yet. So, okay, well, that's the planning phase done. We'll go to questing. So Mm, I am questing with the Rivendell Minstrel, uh, Orwen, and uh, uh, let's see, the two, three, uh, so five, seven. Okay, we will go to seven against one, and the uh, encounter card is uh, Biting Wind. Assign X damage among characters committed to the quest. Axis the number of characters committed to the quest. So immediately a bad one. So what can you do? We have three, so um, we don't want to lose any of this. So I'll place one here and two here. That's nasty, but uh, we had seven against one, so we put six progress onto this. Oh yeah, we chose this as the quest we are going for. So I'll actually move this over here. So we'll play six on this. Now we put some uh, quest tokens on this, so we don't have to lower this uh, engagement value by 20. And uh, we don't want to um, engage that enemy just yet, so... We'll skip that and it doesn't engage us, so we'll go to the refresh phase, so we add, uh, refresh everything, add one to the dial, we are at 32, and that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add resources to the resource pools of every hero, draw a card, and it is, it's the magic ring. So, let's see. Uh, the magic ring action is exhaust magic ring and raise your threat by one. Choose one, heal one damage from attached hero, add one resource to attached hero's pool, already attached hero. Okay. Well, I think I am just going to. Oh, yeah. Um, do I want to play the protector of Lorien? Well, first off, I think I will draw cards with Reavor. So, draw two cards, Ancient Mathem and Long Defeat. I will discard the Ancient Mathem. There are no locations to utilize at the moment. So, we get one resource on to, well, I'll put it on Aragorn as it can be used as either. Uh, lore or uh, spirit. So uh, I think I will put East Road Ranger into play as we are questing against uh, side quests. 
So I'm using two, two of these and one of from here. So that's three, four. Oh, can it wait? I really want the magic ring or unexpected courage in play. Yeah, let's let's wait with this one. So putting those resources back, let's think about it again. So uh, we will actually play long defeat onto this quest. Then I will play unexpected courage onto Aragorn. So now Aragorn can quest and defend and fight if necessary. And we have one spirit resource which we can't use for anything. We could discard two cards to get the Elven Jeweler into play. But I think there is no rush at the moment. So we'll go to questing. Uh, we will quest against the Lilo. And I will quest with Aragorn, Arwen. We need only two here, so we are now... Uh, three, five against two, uh, one. So I think I like those chances. I won't risk anybody else now. So we get an encounter card. It is troll fell, so six uh, quest points and ten moors. While troll fells is in the is the active location, whether gains uh, whether cards gain doomed one when revealed if. The troll fell is not revealed. Guarding a safe location, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a location with the safe keyword and attach it here. So we search for a safe location. This uh, would let us heal damage when we travel there. That could be good. Let's see what the other one did. Uh, we don't need any cards from our discard pile into our hand at the moment, so we'll take that safe location. Let's shuffle our encounter deck. So this is guarded by this location. Okay, then. Uh, let's see. Uh, two against five, so we get three progress on here. This trigger, so we either draws two cards or heals up to five damage. Mm. I think I want to heal the damages. And this is defeated, goes into the victory display. And... Uh, So I think I'll keep my victory display here because it's in, in view. And then we can actually travel here. So we travel here. And uh, this is immune to player card effects. And oh yeah, and we beat that side quest. So we add eight onto into the Eten Moors. And uh, after you travel to Patch of Woods, each player adds one resource to each of their hero's resource pools. And we, after this stage is defeated, choose an enemy in the staging area and shuffle it into the encounter deck. So we get rid of this troll in the staging area, causing us grief. So we'll shuffle that away. And we add resources to each hero's resource pool. So we get a big turn next round. Okay. And... Uh, yeah. So... Next... No... Encounter phase. So we'll go to refresh phase. Ready. Add one to the dial. 33. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. So we add resources. Now we have quite a lot to play with. We draw a card. A test of will, that's good. So 
for now. Oh yeah, uh, forced vendor side. Uh, at the be beginning of the quest phase, so we will be getting our side quest in play soon enough. So I think we want to get the East Road Ranger into play and spending these resources. Then uh, I will just not discard but play one of these. So we are building up the Isle. I won't do anything else this round. I think we have a good board state at the, at the moment. So we'll go to the quest phase. So now this force triggers. So if there are no encounter side quests in play, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until you hit one. So it, they seem to be at the bottom of the deck, but we are bound to hit one eventually. Okay, there's one. Forage for food. So these are discarded. So we get forage for food. Six and what little rations you manage to recover after you in your imprisonment have run dry. If the troll, if the trolls or the cold doesn't kill you, starvation surely will. There must be some food in the uh, to find in these barren hills. First, after one or more resources are spent from hero's resource pool, deal one damage to that hero. Response after this stage is defeated, heal one damage from each hero. Okay, so we are just going to defeat this one. Because we don't want to take damage. So we are questing uh, on this one. And uh, we have to get. 11 to defeat it so because there's five here so let's see uh east road runner is three four five six seven ten twelve thirteen i think 13 against one is okay so we reveal one car and it is a cruel mountain troll which is three so four against uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So quickly counting thirteen minus four is eleven, which uh, no, it's nine, which is not enough to beat this, but. It's okay, uh, we'll stall for a moment. So this is added to the victory display. I'll just place this like so. Then <coughs> uh, we add so five, so four here. And then we do engagement checks and we won't uh, engage that, so we'll just leave that into the, the staging area. Then we actually want to travel here. And uh, while... Let's see, so when... Uh, while Troll fails is the active location, weather cards gain plus one doomed. Okay, well... That sucks, but it is what it is, so... Uh, we'll just go to refresh phase now. And uh, add one to the dial, so we are at uh, 34. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add resources. I don't think we want to spend any of these resources at this moment, but we'll see. So we get another East Road Ranger, which is, I think, good. So. Uh, when we get to travel here, so this is guarded by this. So after you travel to this, the, you can heal one damage from each character in play. So we could play...
So uh, uh, after the one or more resource, okay. So we deal one damage to those to play this. So I'll just play this with Aragorn and Breavor. So they both take one damage. That's okay. And uh, we can use Orwen's ability. Or uh, we can play the uh, test of will and take one damage on Arwen because we are going to defeat this. So we need eight. So we'll go questing. There is only this guy in the staging area now. So we'll quest. Uh, these are six, eight, uh, eleven against three. Thirteen. Against three, uh, fourteen and against three, and we get an encounter card. It is uh, biting wind, so I will definitely take one damage and play a test of will to cancel the revelation effect on this one. Do not take any damage to anywhere. So we are uh, fourteen against uh, three which means 11, so 6 here, this is defeated, uh, this is, we can now travel here, and this is defeated, and this goes into victory display, after this stage is defeated, heal 1 damage from each hero. Then we get to travel here, so after you travel to the uh, four well, heal 1 damage from each character in play, well, there are no damages anywhere. And uh, we put six here. So this advances. Oh yeah, before we travel, this advances. So. A miserable journey. Your trek through the Athenors only gets worse as you, your injured company is pursued by hungry trolls and battered by cold and rain. When revealed, shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a side quest is discarded. Reveal that side quest and add it in the staging area if able. And I'll just read it now. This land is barren and untamed. Food is scarce and you must take care of to avoid the trolls and other creatures that roam the moors. If you are lucky, you may find a safe place to hide and rest for a short time before your journey continues. Reveal one additional encounter card during the quest phase, unless there is an active location with the save uh, keyword. And uh, we shuffle these back into the encounter deck. There are still some side quests in here. Okay, shuffle, 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 and we discard cards until we hit a side quest. Okay, so we get lost in the wilderness, which is not that bad at this moment, so... Uh, we'll just put it here. So, when revealed, each player places all cards in their hand face down underneath lost in the wilderness, so we have to put this underneath here, but it is okay. I think uh, <clears throat> this is only a four, so we need 20 here. So we really need to quest now hard. And now we get to travel here, which means uh, we don't reveal a, one additional encounter card as we are at a safe location. So we need seven to clear this, and everything access goes here. And We'll go to the refresh phase. So this is, has a 46 uh, engagement check. So I think we are good for a moment. Uh, we'll add one threat to the dial. So we are at 35 and that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add resources. We draw a card. It is a Galadrim Weaver. So I'll just play Galadrim Weaver. Because that means I can shuffle one test of wheel back into my deck, which is really good.
Then I will draw a card with Prayer of War. So exhausting Prayer of War to draw two cards. Tale of Tinuvil and Galdor of Haven. So Haven. So we are saving up for Galdor, but. Uh, yeah, I, I have four next round if I don't play any, anything else. So we'll just start questing. So uh, we will quest this location away first. So we need seven to clear that. So we get our hand back. So uh, we are questing against the side quest. So these are six together. Eight, nine, ten, thirteen against three. And we need seven. I think that's good enough. We re only reveal one. Oh yeah, might as well use Aragorn too. So we are uh, 15. These are... We are at 15 against 3. Encounter card is... Uh, this shouldn't be here. I might have... Uh, oh yeah. Okay, uh, I just noticed I have shuffled the quest cards here, so I'm just quickly removing all the burdens and stuff like that from here, which are not supposed to be in here. Lucky we haven't drawn any of those, but yeah, uh, my mistake, I uh, built the encounter deck too quickly this time, so I missed that step and I was sorting the cards, so let me remove those. And that should be everything. Okay, so doing a new shuffle here. So we are at uh, 15 against 3. Oh, uh, well, these things happen when you start filming straight away when you come home from work. So you are a bit drained from the work day. So the encounter card is. Uh, Pressing needs, Doom 2, 37, when revealed, uh, either search the encounter deck and discard file for an encounter side quest and reveal it, or choose a different side I'll do the search and reveal it. So we have make camp, uh, then we have scavenge for supplies, what is the drawback here? Cost to play it's okay, that's bad. I think we don't need to heal, so I'll just put that we shuffle. So that comes into the staging area and uh, we clear that side quest easily. So this is cleared, it goes here, this is cleared, it goes here. We get our cards back into our hand and we won't engage this, uh, we'll go to refresh space, so we refresh. And we are at 38. I think next round we might use Aragorn's ability to go back to 31. But that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add resources. We draw a card. Uh, it is another elven light. I will just discard the elven light to get. No, let's do this in a sensible order. Uh, first off, we will play Galdor of Heavens using Bravor and Aragorn's resources. Now we will discard and we use Galdor of Heavens to draw a card. We get the silver harp and we put one resource on Aragorn. Then we will play the Silver Harp onto Arwen. Then we have one resource which we will save for now. And we will go questing and I will quest against this. So we don't have a safe location in place so uh, we draw two encounter cards which we need to keep in mind. So maybe we just try to get as much threat, uh, progress here as we can at 
this moment. So uh, we will start questing. So now these are not that good at questing. So I'm questing with all of my heroes. Uh, Galdor and this. I'll just quest with everything. We are not fighting anything at the moment. And I'll... Yeah. Let's take a risk. So we'll quest with everything. So we have uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 against 3. So we reveal an additional card. So we get pressing needs, Doom 2. We are at 40. We are definitely using Aragorn. Uh, we will search for a side quest. And that that is bad. So, uh, we still have one... Do we have any more? That is the last side quest. So, that comes into play. We could have chosen the make camp, but I really want to get out of the uh, miserable journey <laughs> phase of this quest. Okay, and uh, then uh, this says that when revealed, reveal one encounter card for each quest card in play, and that is three. So we have to reveal three cards from the top of the encounter deck. So, that that's nasty. Well, I'm just hoping I won't hit the fighting winds or whatever that was. Okay, well... Doing a good shuffle here. So... We have to reveal three more cards. First off, we get uh, Arab or Spain. When revealed, start... Starting with the first player, each player must either engage an enemy in the staging area with the highest enough cost that their threat or search encounter deck and discard pile for a troll or giant enemy and add it to the staging area. Deal each enemy that engages the player through this effect to shadow cards. Ouch. Well... I will search and not... Uh, engage anything. So we'll search for something that has a high threat. So these don't have anything nasty. So this would engage me. That's not good. This would engage me. Not good. So maybe we'll just grab uh, another of these guys. These are beefy, but we can just try to avoid them. Yeah. Okay, well, we may, may need to deal with one of those at some point, but it is not this turn. Okay, so this is added to the staging area. And then, uh, each player deals one damage to a hero take control. It is Preavor. And this is attached to the current quest, so it is this one. That's annoying. So, what the uh, cold from Angmar does is uh, so treat each damage character's printed text plus as if it were blank, except for keywords and traits. So, we can't draw cards with Preavor. And they will get the Abandoned Camp, which is a safe location. After you travel to Abandoned Camp, each player may return one card from there. Uh, discard pile into their hand, and it is guarded with a uh, Savage Troll Spawn, which will actually engage us, and that's not good. But we can, we can uh, manage with that. Okay, uh, we will ready Aragorn. 
uh, with the unexpected courage so that he can defend. Then uh, we will engage this one. Then uh, we will. Uh, we can't travel anywhere. So, oh yeah, how how much did we? So this is uh, seven against sixteen. So we put nine progress tokens here. We still need eleven. That's that's a way off still. Okay, so now we need to deal with this one. So it gets a shadow card and. Uh, we won't uh, engage those, so we Aragorn will defend. Uh, two against uh, three, because this gets plus one for each damage character I control. So three plus uh, attacking enemy gets plus one for each damage character, so it deals two damage to Aragorn. Which is bad, because don't have anyone else to defend. So, treat each damage character's printed text box as if it were blank, except for keywords and traits. So we can't actually uh, lower our threat this round. So we need to get past this next round, or we are we are in trouble. Okay, no, no, um, no one can hit that, but that's everything we can do here. So uh, we raise our threat by one. We are at forty-one, and uh, we ready up. Oh boy, this is getting clutch. I think we need to start killing some trolls here. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add resources. Now everything is two. Uh, co everything costs one more, so we get a uh, ranger of Cardolan. Uh, we might just uh, spend one resource to put ranger of Cardolan into play and to play, so that doesn't it affect that. So we. Ignore those. We will try to quest this away and at the end of the round. So we'll spend two to get both of these into play. They will go back into my deck later. And I will discard one card, draw one card to gain a resource onto Arwen. And I will play Elrond's Council to lower my threat by 3. 1, 2, 3 is uh, 38, so we are a bit safer now. And we will boost uh, Arwen. Then I will play Magic Ring on Arwen. Uh, using uh, resource from... No, this, this will cost... Actually, I messed up, so... Uh, we had to pay one for the Elrond, Elrond's Council. So, we couldn't play it for free. Okay, well... Uh, this is everything I can play. So... We are just trying to quest through this. And uh, we need 11 there, and we have 6 against us. So, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine, ten, fourteen, sixteen, fourteen, 
16 against 6, and we need it 11. I think we need to use Aragorn. So 18 against 6. And uh, we get uh, defense, and then we need to hit for 9. This is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's not enough. So I will leave Gravor up. We can't complete this yet. Okay, so we're at... One, two, uh, no, three, uh, I mean four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen against six and we reveal two cards okay so it's attached here and we have to damage one so we'll damage forever no rest when revealed attached to an exhausted hero or to ready hero if there are no exhausted heroes counts as a condition attachment with the text limit one per hero attached hero cannot ready and does not collect resources during the resource list. Discard not rest players travel to a safe location. So, yeah. Okay, so Bravor can't ready. But uh, we get uh, 16 against 6. So we put 10 here. We are one away. That is really close now. Then we ready Aragorn. Oh yeah, we have to... Okay, so this had to go on an exhausted character, so it must be Arwen, because Bravor is not exhausted yet. Okay, now, we will defend... And... Uh, this gets in a shadow card, no shadow effect, uh, it deals... Four against two, so we take two damage on Aragorn. Aragorn is nearly dead. This is uh, getting really clutch. Then we just kill it with this. And that's enough to defeat this. And this is now here, so next round we can travel there. And we raise our threat by one, and we ready everything, so we are really hurting here. Oh yeah, we can't even heal because of the make camp. But if we actually complete this, we can heal up to three damage from a hero to control, but we can't afford that next round, we need to get rid of this. But that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add resources. Uh, only to these two because this doesn't uh, Arwen doesn't get resources as long as that is in play we get Aaron er, Elrond's council which we will probably play and uh, it costs one we lower our threat by one two three and raise Aragorn's Should we actually clear this? No, we don't have a good card to play at no cost. This we could, but I just want to complete that one. Okay, well, we'll quest. Uh, so we need one. And we are against uh, six again. Now we don't want to fight anything, so we will... Oh yeah, this actually get, got shuffled back into my deck, and... Well, I could have drawn one of those, so... Um, yeah, well, we drew Elrond's Council either way. And I think I... 
Yeah, I, I can't discard cards with Arven. No, no, I can because uh, Arven doesn't have any damage on, on her. So I think I will actually uh, discard uh, Tale of Tinoville or I'm not playing the Magic Ring. They're struggling with threat. So I'll place one resource on to Aragorn and I'll draw a card with so we got Elrond, which is great, but uh, we need to get rid of condition, maybe. Yeah, so I'm playing Elrond, not to heal, but to remove this condition. So now Arwen can ready. We still have this in hand. And... Uh, I'll place uh, Elrond here because, well, because I will discard him at the end of the round. We will quest Elrond quests, um, uh, Aragorn quests, we will quest with... Now we actually don't need to quest that much, we only need one. So we are at five. Against six, seven against six, nine against six, ten against six, eleven against six. We get two encounter cards. So let's let's think. Okay. Eleven against six. If we get, we only need one. So, uh, yeah, uh, hoping not to get two enemies. Uh, okay, we get a Goldfeld Giant, which is three. Then no, when revealed there. Uh, oh damn! <laughs> Biting wind when revealed. Assign X damage among characters committed to the quest. X is the number of characters committed to the quest. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we can put... two here. Uh, two here. And we still have two I think this can just die. Okay, so we drop by one, but still we get enough. This is finally cleared. Journey's end. You are getting closer to the edge of the troll fells, but exhaustion has taken its toll. One way or another, this journey is nearing its end. When revealed, shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a side quest is discarded. I reveal that side quest and add it to the staging area. So, this also get discarded. Um, so basically, we don't have any side quests in here anymore. So... Oh yeah, and Elrond actually costs one more, so I'll just discard one more resource for playing Elrond. That I'm all, almost missed. So basically we discard our whole hand, or the in complete encounter deck. So uh, not even doing that, I'll just discard them like so. Then. Uh, we get to travel, so we'll travel here. After you travel to abandoned camp, each player may return one card from their discard pile into their hand. And uh, not that many good cards here. Uh, we don't have. 
Well, we have an easy location for next round, so I maybe take King the Ancient Nathan. Why not? Then uh, we are not engaging anything. Uh, we'll go to refresh phase at the end of the round. Elrond, Elrond goes into our discard. We would have wanted Elrond, but it is what it is. So now, journey's end. We need 17. Your wounded companions only saw, saw your progress with trolls on your heels and your cold weather overhead. You press onward. Each character, uh, damaged character, gets minus two willpower on. Unless there is an active location with the save keyword. If the players defeat this stage, they may they have escaped the Ethanmores with their lives. So now we need 17. Which is a tall order, but um, we have a safe location now. So uh, we might get this next round if we do well. So we add one threat to the dial. We'll actually lower it to 31 with Aragorn's ability and we'll go to 32. No, we are at 31. And that is that. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add resources. We are trying to win this as soon as possible. So we draw a card, uh, a test of will that, that will come use. Uh, we are not playing anything. We are just questing with everything. So um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15 against 9. <laughs> okay, that, that's bad. Okay, we maybe want to play the Ancient Matham here. So that costs you. So we will shuffle and draw one card. And uh, Doom 2, when revealed, we have to change our... Uh, we'll just quest against this then. Because there are no quests here, we can't do the other one. So we get Doom 2. Okay. So one... Now, these actually get boosted because of this. So... Uh, let's see... Mm, I'm I'm um, messing up here. So uh, we need seven, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen against nine. So we are at ten ahead. So that was revealed. So yeah, we pass this. We get ancient matum. We draw three cards. Yeah. Long defeat, Ranger of Cardolan, and unexpected courage. And this is completed, and we get to heal three dam up to three dam damage from a hero they control, and we will heal Reavor. So we get the full willpower from that also. So now basically Aragorn and uh, Galdor of Heavens won't quest. Okay, that is that. We are not engaging anything. We will ready up. And raise our threat by one. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, uh, we add resources now. I'm hoping to get something good into play. Uh, we draw a card. Elrond. Uh, that's actually good. I will play Elrond. Will cost me... Damn. Okay. First I will discard uh, 
the long defeat to get one more resource onto Aragorn. Then I will heal all damage from Aragorn. And yeah, I'll draw a card with Galdor, uh, Burning Brand. Okay. We are questing against this. We have nine there, so we need to try and do uh, the best we can. So Galdor is useless for questing, but maybe we'll just jump block with him if we need it. So uh, we are questing three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, eleven, fourteen, sixteen against 9 and counter card is uh, Freezing Blast, Doom 2 oh dear, well, we're at 36 nothing to worry about when revealed, remove each damage character from the quest there are none because, Gal yeah, Galdor is the only damage character so, uh, 16 against 9 so we do 7 progress so 10 more, hoping we can do it in a couple of turns here, and we don't do anything else, those won't uh, engage us, so we'll just ready. We raise our threat by 1, 37 Elrond goes away, and that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add resources. And we draw a card, it is Elven Jeweler, so I'm just discarding cards to get this into play. Yeah. And I draw a card with that, okay. Then I will use one resource to play this. For this round I will use Two resources from Arwen to get an unexpected courage on under Arwen. No Bravor. Actually, under Arwen I have no, I don't have the resources for this with this round. I'll do it next round if we need to. Then I will Quest for a bunch. So we are again ignoring the giants and trolls. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, fifty, uh, fourteen, sixteen against nine. So the same as last round. And we get uh, show. Shrouded Hills. X is the number of quest cards in play, so it is uh, 2. So we are at 11 threat from the... Um, uh, from the... staging area. Like blanking out with the name. So 11 against 6, so we put 5 here. So we are at... So we need 5 next round to win. That sounds like a good good plan. So I actually have a good idea here. If we can after gold and engage you deal one damage to three different we don't want to do that. Maybe we them uh No, we don't want to engage anything, but uh, we don't want to travel either, so We'll just sit on these. So this goes away at the end of the round. Goes back into our deck. And uh, then we add one threat to the dial, 38, we ready up, 
and uh, that is that so hoping we can finish this next round so that is that round let's go to the next round we add resources draw a card uh, color dream weaver Uh, yeah, I'll get a resource with Arwen and draw a card. Northern Tracker, that's actually good, not good enough. Um, we are one uh, resource short from playing Northern Tracker, and I'll actually. Use the silver <laughs> harp to get this back. So uh, I will just play this ally I have it in my hand. So we'll put this back into our deck. Okay, let's see if we can get five questing done. Might take one more turn, but it is what it is. Okay, well, we have two resources for the a test of will if we need it. <clears throat> so I'm questing with everything. Except uh, Calder. So 2, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, one less than before, against 11. And we will cancel this with the test of will. So we get four progress here. We are one progress away. So we're actually Changing those into a 5, so we are at 16, we need one more to win this game. We won't engage anything, we'll just ready and hope we can win next round. But this is this has been a really long and clutch game, but it is sometimes as it is. So, uh, that is that round, let's go to the next and hopefully last round. We add resources, draw a card, uh, burning brand, not that useful. Uh, we don't have enough resources to play the Northern Tracker, and uh, it, yeah, we don't. We have enough to play the burning brand, but I don't see the need for that. So we will just quest with everything except Galdor. So again, we are at 15 against 11. And uh, we get an encounter card. Uh, no rest. Attached to an exhausted hero or a ready hero if there are no exhausted heroes. Attached hero cannot ready and does not collect resources during the resource phase. Well, that's good enough. We add 4 here and win the game. So that was that was more clutch than my uh, first playthrough of this uh, scenario, but still we managed to beat the scenario finally after an hour or so of playing. But yeah, sometimes these Angmar Awakened scenarios uh, tend to drag on, but we got there finally, and I'm really. <laughs> um, Pleased with this deck against this scenario. I have only played this scenario uh, or this quest twice and with this deck twice. So, uh, lucky to get a working deck against a scenario uh, or a quest immediately. But yeah, that was uh, across the Eten Moors with my Aragon runs to Arwen through the Eten Moors deck. So, hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.